The LER200 off-road laser system comes with a laser, DTEC receiver, a fixed head tripod, high low elevation rod, full set of batteries, and a hard shell case. I'm Jason Becker with Stabila. And the next tool I'm gonna to show you is what we call our off-road laser. It's one of the most durable lasers you'll find on the market today. And it was designed like that because if you look at a job site around you, you can see it needs to be pretty durable. It's a pretty rugged job site. It's kind of uh, an amazing thing. A week ago, this concrete slab behind me wasn't there. Yesterday, that steel structure wasn't there. Things move very quick and you need durable tools that you can count on. You can pull out of your truck and go to work, right? That's why we did this one. This tool here is a rotating laser that's meant to be outside all the time in this kind of a environment. It works over a 1,200 foot range with the DTEC receiver that comes with it. And it's designed for the concrete contractor that poured that slab. And it's designed for the excavator that dug the hole that that concrete slab went into. Moving on from there, this would be a great tool for a lot of other contractors, but it's really designed for the excavator and the concrete guy. The reason why I say it's uh, designed for them is it's horizontal only right and it's designed to be outside what I mean by designed to be outside is it's the hottest running laser on the market today it'll work up to 140 degrees as you can imagine with the sunlight that's out today beating on this laser the inside of the laser gets pretty hot so this one works up to 140 degrees before it shuts down so I'm going to mount the laser on here just like this I'm going to walk you through a little bit of it because the other part that makes this laser here the off-road laser is this shield around it you can see all this rubber clad around it it's designed to take an impact. This laser will actually take a six foot drop to concrete. And it's actually the material underneath it that makes it so tough. It's got a material called EPP. And it's material that you'll find in the dashboards of high end cars and even in, a, in bike helmets. If you ever look at the foam that's in bike helmets, it's meant to take an impact so that it takes it. And by an impact, we don't design these lasers to be dropped around like toys. What they're meant for is when they accidentally get tipped over, the laser's gonna take that impact. Just simply pick it back up, turn it back on, and go to work. The other thing this does to, to be able to take a job site like this is it's dust and waterproof. And what I mean by that is it's designed so sealed shut that as tractors are moving around this job site, kicking up the dirt everywhere, it doesn't get inside this laser to grind it up. It's designed to take it out. And if we were to have a storm roll in here and it was going to rain, we could jump in a trailer, leave the laser out here. It's going to be just fine. It's meant to take it. But not only the durability made it great for this contractor, but the simplicity of it, too. If you look at this keypad, there's only two buttons. And I, and I can tell you that 90% of the time, you're only going to use this one, and it's the on-off button. This laser here, you simply you turn it on and you walk away. This other button right here is a high alert. And on this job site, this big of a job site, I'm going to leave it on. After 30 seconds, this is going to lock in a high alert so that if anybody touches my tripod or knocks it over, it's going to let me know that it shut off. Next thing I'm going to show you is a receiver that comes with this kit all the time. And this receiver is different than any other receiver you've ever used before. It's called DTEC. And what DTEC stands for is Defined Elevation Technology. What this receiver does to you is going to change the way you work. First thing that's different when you look at this receiver is the size. As things get smaller, we're building lasers that are bigger and receivers that are bigger. Well, there's a reason for it. They're bigger because they're more durable. This receiver here will take a 10-foot drop to concrete and still be able to turn back on and go to work. The other thing is, this receiver, just like the, the laser, is dust and waterproof, but the receiver is one more notch up. This receiver is actually submergible. You can actually drop this receiver in a bucket of water or into a puddle, rinse it off, it's fine, go back to work. It's designed to take this kind of job site, right? Next thing I'm gonna show you though with this receiver, I'm gonna actually show you on an application. Like I said earlier, this concrete was poured a week ago, but I can go now as a carpenter that's gonna build steel studs on here, I can go around the perimeter and check the concrete and see how level it is. So let me show you that next. I'm gonna show you a quick example of how this receiver would be used and what this receiver is gonna do that's gonna change the way you work. So the first thing I would do coming onto this job is I have to adjust the receiver to the height of the laser. So what, I, what I've already done is I've clamped the receiver on the zero on this grade rod, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the height until I hear an even tone. When I hear an even tone, I tighten the clamp down there. That means I'm even with the laser. Next thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna walk along this chalk line here. And I'm gonna set down the receiver 
in, in intermittent spots there, and it's going to tell me how far from the level I am. And if you watch closely and watch the screen of this receiver, you're going to see exactly what I mean by how it's going to change the way we work. So as, as I set the receiver in the next spot here, it doesn't only tell me by the even or by the beeping noise that I'm off level. If you read the screen, it's going to tell you exactly how far from level I am. It's going to blow you away. So I'll move on to the next area. And I can quickly see that I'm three-eighths of an inch low right here. So that's how fast I can tell that I'm going to need to change my work and the way I do it. Next spot. So I'm three-eighths of an inch low. So you can see that in 12 feet, I went from zero to three-eighths of an inch. I know I need to adjust my wall height in order to be level.